Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today, I'm going to start a series on five best balls. We're going to start with tier four, which is going to be your cheapest golf balls, your, your Kirkland's, your top flight, Spalding, balls like that, Vice Drive. So this is all going to be balls that I've played, that I've tested, that I've reviewed. We're going to start out tier four, the cheapest golf balls. Check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, got to hit more greens. Okay there guys, so what we're going to do is I'm going to share with you the criteria, but basically I broke it down in the five different categories. The 50 yard shot, the ball that had the most spin got five points. The second most spin, four points. Any ball that had 6,000 RPMs of spin or more got one point. I also did a category for extreme, essentially an extreme failure in each category, they would lose one point. What we're looking at first is the 50 yards, cut blue, 7,228, that, that ball got five points. Kirkland Signature, four points. Spalding SD Tour, three points. Cut Gray, two points. And then the remainder of those balls all had over 6,000 RPMs of spin. So those balls all received one point. The extremes were Nitro, TaylorMade Noodle, and Top Flight Bomb all had less than 5,000 RPMs of spin. So those balls all lost one point in that category. So with the seven iron, just like the driver, the balls got points in two different categories. So with the seven iron, 5,000 plus spin was you received at least one point. The ball that got the most spin got five points and so on and so forth, just like the other test. The Kirkman Signature, 5,801 received the five points. Spalding SD Tour, the four points. Top Flight XL, three points. Nitro, two points. And then the Pinnacle Rush and the Callaway Warbird each received one point. Now, the extremes, there was actually only one extreme, the Wilson Ultra, had 4,453 RPMs of spin with the seven iron. With the seven iron carry, 150 plus carry yards would receive at least the one point. The ball that had the most carry was the Spalding SD Tour X, 155 yards. So that ball received five points. Cut Gray and Wilson Ultra both received the four points. Callaway Warbird, Nitro Ultimate, and TaylorMade Noodle all received two points. The extreme category was 146 or less, and the only ball that fit in that category was a Top Flight XL. Had a 146 yards of carry with the seven iron. Now with the driver, I did 2,600 RPMs of spin or less, would all receive one point. The ball that had the least amount of spin would receive the five points, so on and so forth. The Wilson Duo saw 2,116 RPMs of spin, five points, Callaway Warbird, four points, three points for the Top Flight Bomb, two points for the TaylorMade Noodle, and then the rest of those balls, the last four all received one point. The only extreme was the Kirkland Signature Ball actually had an incredible 3,429 RPMs of spin. It received minus one point. Now moving on to the, the second and final category for driver, and actually for the test, was driver carry distance. So I set the barometer at 220 yards. The cut gray, pinnacle soft, and the tailor-made noodle all carried 222 yards. So they all tied for first in that category. Pinnacle Rush received the two points, and then the top flight bomb received one point for 220 carry. Actually, two balls tied for fifth. The Kirkland Signature lost the playoff. The Kirkland Signature is actually ball five B we'll call it. So you get six balls in this actually. Kirkland Signature did really well with the high spin on the 50 yard shot and a high spin on the seven iron shot. It was only one yard short of the 150 yard mark to get a point with the seven iron, but where it really struggled is with the driver. It was 10 yards shorter than the number one ball in this category and it was actually 10 yards shorter than the ball I tied with in the uh, fifth spot. On course, the ball felt good. I really like that cover. That urethane cover feels really nice. So it felt just like hitting a premium ball. But unfortunately, it was 10 yards shorter. Now 5A was the Pinnacle Soft. The Pinnacle Soft was 10 yards longer than the Kirkland Signature with Carry. Being a Pinnacle, it just it doesn't feel as soft as that urethane cover. 
However, 10 yards is an awful lot to give up when you're talking about balls in this category. With the 50 yard spin was pretty good, 6,500, not bad at all. And a fairly low spin on the driver also. It only fell 100 RPM short of the 5,000 RPMs it needed to get a point with the seven iron. So it didn't do bad there either. And it was only two yards short of the 150 yard carry. Okay guys, we also had a tie for the third spot. So we had another playoff and losing that playoff was the Callaway Warbird. So the Callaway Warbird is ball number four. They both had eight points, but the Callaway Warbird had a decent amount of spin with the wedge and the seven iron. Actually received two points with the seven iron for distance, so that wasn't bad. But where it performed best was with low spin off the driver. But the reason it lost out in the playoff was it only had 217 yards of carry, so that low spin with the driver did not translate into more ball speed with the driver. Other thing about the Callaway Warbird is a lot harder than the ball that it lost to. Now the other ball that ended up with eight points and won that tie was the TaylorMade Noodle. The TaylorMade Noodle is gonna be a low spin ball, essentially with every club throughout the bag. It lost a point from 50 yards and came close to losing another point with the seven iron. It gained two points with 150 yards of carry with the seven iron. It had a low spin with the driver and actually was the tie for longest carry with the driver. If you want a softer, low compression, low spin ball, this is gonna be a good ball for you. Okay guys, in the number two spot, we got the Cut Gray. Cut Gray was a solid performer with close to 7,000 spin from 50 yards. It had the second longest seven iron carry and although it produced more spin with the driver, it still tied for longest driver carry. Uh, I love the cover on this three piece ball. My on course testing went pretty good outside, outside of this tricky pin placement. Before I get to number one, do a couple honorable mentions. Two balls ended up with six points. The cut blue, it was fueled by its 7,228 RPMs leading the way with 50 yards spin. Uh, outside of that, it kind of just performed average in, in the other categories, but that was a lot of spin from 50 yards. The Wilson Duo Soft, if you're someone who likes a really soft ball with low spin, this could be a really good ball for you. Uh, it was the lowest spin off the driver, lower than any of the other balls that I've tested. The number one ball in the cheap ball category, the Spalding SD Tour X. I can honestly say this is the one ball in this category that I would stick in my bag and I would play and not have to worry about any performance issues. I would stick this ball in my bag and play it. It had over 7,000 spin from 50 yards. It was in the mid 5,000 with the seven iron and had the longest carry with the seven iron also at 155 yards. The driver spin was a little high which led to it carrying just outside of the 220 yard mark. It carried 219 yards, so it just missed getting the point there, but it had 12 points, and that ball is easily the number one ball in the tier four cheap ball category. I would say the biggest surprise from this test was the Vice Drive. Vice Drive actually finished below the Nitro, below the Top Flight XL, below the Top Flight Bomb. It'll be interesting how the Vice Pro Soft does, but that Vice Drive, you know, I took it, I did an on-course review. I haven't posted that yet, but the on-course review, the Vice Drive performed pretty good. So I was kind of surprised to see the numbers. That was the biggest surprise. All right, guys, I'm gonna put links in the description for all the balls that I've included in this review. If there's a ball that you feel like that I should maybe stick that in the next because this is gonna be ongoing. When I find a ball, test a ball that does better, I'll update that. The tier three balls will be coming soon. I'll release that video too. And if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. My games have seen now, hooks and big fades. It's not my day now, why did I play now? Just clear my head.